Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. Um, I'm gonna digitize but 16 millimeter film, but beforehand, this film is really, really moldy. Um, so you can see right here, uh, just disgusting mold. This cannot be ran as is. This film is from the 50s. So, you know, you're talking 70 plus years old. So I'm gonna keep you on a tripod here. I'm gonna keep this up right going right here and um, forgive me as I do have film running in the background that I am monitoring um, as it's being digitized so this um, right here is film renew so you get it from a Bansky film and then what you're gonna need is um, like a lint-free cloth, okay, a spray bottle that is not going to eat through the plastic because this stuff is pretty potent. Um, and then, you know, there are other ways to do this, but I've been doing this for 20 years, so this is kind of the, the manual version, but it does do the trick. So you're going to apply quite dousing the, the thing here and then I'm going to rewind it. Now because this is so caked, um, and I also, because we're in Arizona dry air, you get electric shocks. There's Winston, there's Birdie, shop dog, say hello. Hey, Birdie. <sighs> um, shop dogs. Anyway, without that, uh, no further ado. Um, I am slowing this down a bit, so I'm using, see, look, you can see it's nice and shiny. And right after this is trans uh, cleaned, I am going to digitize it. And what I do here is I'm actually applying a lot of pressure to kind of slow it down a bit. Um, and then I also turn my finger and thumb like that. So I'm moving the cloth and you can see right here, look at that, that's come off. That film is woo. So I'm going to use a different piece of cloth. I'm going to shut this down a second and spray more on the cloth here. And then I'm going to take it back a sec. This is going to take some doing. Um, this is really, really bad. I'm going to spray it a bit more as well. And I'm going to do a two pass clean so it's gonna go this way and then I'm gonna flip the reels around and do it the other way so it'll be all rewound and ready to go but this projector wants to go faster but I'm putting a lot of pressure on the film itself and then also applying the rag and turning the rag look at that it's filthy again so I'm going to pinch it and I'm gonna douse this rag soaking because this definitely needs it but look you can already see so if I stop that look at that and then look at that it's like shiny and new hey boys what do you think no all right um so as I work through this Okay, well, slow it down. That noise there is the motor from this projector that's not liking this at all because I'm putting a lot of resistance. Look at that. Okay, got another end to the... You can actually see... Yeah, what a difference. Just from this little section here. Okay. 
So, yeah, um, we are, and I've got, I'm like a multitasking uh, here, extraordinaire. I don't know if you heard that, but uh, that is the electric shocks that I'm getting. And look at that. This is, woo, this is pretty bad. Okay, gonna change spots every 20, 30 or so feet. I'm uh, What's up, buddy? Is this boring? Is that boring? All right, let's move it. What's going on, hey? So we're gonna change that again, but look, look at this. And then look at that. It's like shiny and new, it looks like an LP. That to that. I mean, you can see the difference right there. And just FYI, if you're looking to get this done by a company, or you're looking for a reputable company to digitize your home movies, which is what I do. But um, if you are shopping around and you're trying to, whoops, you're trying to um, find a company to trust with all your old stuff, um, do not ever, ever think that the likes of all these legacy box, Kodak digitizing services, which is, uh, Legacy box, he just bought the name right. But all of these companies, these on anything you see on advertising on Facebook, um, just cheap jack crap. Uh, when they make it easy for you, um, they uh, are crap. They will not do this, they will turn this away, Costco doesn't the, the the company that they use are atrocious um they turn all this stuff away they just go yeah sorry can't transfer it your film is beyond uh beyond help and we can't transfer it so uh throw it away it's basically what they say and for the few people that find me on youtube and then go oh wait a minute here's a guy he seems to know what he's doing and actually is passionate about what he does and and oh my god look at his google reviews this all matches up then uh yeah so i do transfer this stuff for people that are not looking to uh need to price match with all these companies that are absolute trash but you want somebody on the other end of your phone that you can text or call anytime and you feel comfortable ah balls okay anyway with that said i think you get the point here look at the difference there and that is quite uh yeah a stark difference anyway this is where all the equipment is this is the whole i use all tobin cinema system equipment um and I do video transfers. This is the whole studio where everything's done. I am based in Phoenix. Um, I do have a storefront in a retail complex, um, but I am by appointment for drop-offs. 
Uh, as I tell everybody, if you're looking for a company to do this, you've got to make sure that they've got hundreds and hundreds of reviews on Google with a 5.0, which is pretty much impossible uh, for any company, let alone this. Um, so Phoenix, Arizona, this is where it all happens. You can mail in. You can go to gotmemories.com. I don't know if I'm in the shot here, but anyway, gotmemories.com if you want to get a quote. If you are looking for the cheapest price and you don't care about your memories, and I don't want to sound arrogant or whatever, but please don't waste your time or my time because this does take a lot of time, expertise, equipment. I've been doing this a very long time. So you'd be hiring an expert. My prices are high because I have low volume because I have to spend the time on all of this stuff. And for those of you out there, you know, you've got to understand uh, time is money and I'd rather be at the beach <laughs> doing all this stuff. I don't have to do it. But if you want me to do it and you want someone that cares, has a heart and a head and all of the credentials to back up to get this stuff done correctly, because you're only doing it right once. If you buy cheap, you buy twice. Um, and if you're looking at all of these companies, look at this. This is Legacy Box, the worst, most immoral, corrupt company <laughs> ever. It's so bad. Anyway, iMemories, this is all just chop shop stuff and uh, you've really got to do your homework. Um, anyway, all the best to you, uh, gotmemories.com. They've got loads of other videos as well. Cheers. Okay, so I have the film running. It is nice and shiny, and this is the outcome here. It's kind of, the camera's not really doing it justice off the monitor, but it is coming through clear, and you can see a rape. You might see a bar right there. That's from the difference of the frame rate of the camera, the iPhone, and, and so forth. But it is precious content that's been preserved. Um, and uh, yeah, so looks, but you get the point. It looks, uh, it's good. So customer's gonna be very pleased with that. I'm pleased with it as well. And I uh, got some uh, regular eight here from the 60s going. Um, use all Tobin Cinema System equipment. Um, just littered with equipment here. But yeah, no, this looks really good.